like a set of pants definitely needs to come up. Hey Best Pally, I'm Allie, and today I'm gonna to show you an outdoor sprint workout that you can do with no equipment, which is exactly what you need if you don't have access to a gym right now, and also it's super quick. I wanna help you get cardio in, in a smart and efficient way, instead of just going out there and being like, well, there's nothing else to do, I guess I'll run for six miles a day. No, this is gonna be short spurts of getting your heart rate up and then taking a break and letting it drop and then back up again, which is very different than just steady state jogging around. And as a bonus, I'm gonna be trying out making my own sauna suit with a trash bag. This is not the focus of the video, this is just me deciding to be a guinea pig again because I'm podcasting with Max now and he was talking about how he used to wear trash bags and then, okay, let me just put it on. Max was a wrestler and this is a common thing with wrestlers, boxers, anyone who has to, I need a shirt under this. Anyone who's supposed to cut weight for their sport uses this technique occasionally. Sweat a whole freaking lot. Let me just make a head hole here. Arms. Now I'm doing this mostly in solidarity because I just want to know what Max went through in high school and college. And I guess to test it out to see if it actually is effective, but my concerns are, well, one, looking and feeling like an idiot. Great, let me just tighten my belt here. Okay. And some more on top. And two, that the weight I'm gonna lose is sweat and we'll come back immediately. Whatever, we're trying this out. He also said they would do this to extra seal his mobile sauna. And I'm gonna double up on the pants, why not? And by the way, if you wanna hear the podcast where Max and I talk about this kind of stuff, it is going strong now on Apple Podcasts, so search for Total Fit Heads and subscribe. We're also thinking about making it visual, so let me know if you wanna watch it probably on this channel and actually see us chatting with each other and other specialists in the fitness and health field. All right, the drive here was already unpleasant. I'm at a track that is still open and we'll be doing my sprints here. We're being encouraged to go outside. Outside is not the problem. It's being close to people, so I will be keeping my distance from these other runners that oh, are wearing shorts that seem so nice right now. Hello! She's very focused. Uh, this is my cardio CrossFit knowledgeable friend, and we met at a distance here to do this workout together. I mean, apart. What? I can't hear you. There's six feet between us. She's measuring the exact distance, exactly, questionably exact. We need to know 100 meters, 200 meters, and 400 meters. Running in gloves, respect it. Mostly I'm just jealous of her tank top. It is already hot, I haven't even started yet. Oh, we also need to know 300 meters, so I'm helping out with that. And this is my warm up. I'm already warm. All right, we're ready. The workout is designed to mentally get easier as you go along, but not necessarily physically. You'll see. The first tier is sprinting a 100 four times. The second tier is sprinting a 200, oh, only three times. And then you sprint 300 meters, but only two times. And then you sprint 400 meters, which is a full lap on the track, but only one time. In between each of them, we're gonna rest about two minutes to get our heart rate back down. I've actually heard of just laying down in between sprints. Dave Asprey talks about this in his Bulletproof Body, that his rest is completely letting his body just like give up and then getting back into a sprint, we're gonna be doing active recovery. Those are two different tactics. I'm not saying either one is better than the other. Oh, we need to start this. I am <laughs> dying. Also, I'm really noisy. Your mark, get set, go! Christina's going first. We're splitting this up and I'm keeping track of her time. And stop. You looked super fast, 15 seconds. I can't wait to not get that. All right, my turn. Good thing I warmed up with nothing. You were the same. I'm warming up with wearing a trash bag on a ride here. Three, two, one, go. Excuse me, are you a professional runner? Uh, no, I'm just working out here. You're just working oh. out. You're a rocket. Oh, thank you. Wow, you're a rocket. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Got it on camera. <laughs> A <laughs> professional runner. How'd I do? Time, time, time. 21.09. Great, six seconds crappier than you. It's only because my second set of pants were falling down. All right, number two. And you mark, get set, rock it. Uh, are you confused what the humans are doing? Again, having zero personality. Oh, wait. Oh, under 15 this time. 14.56. Does your face hurt? Because you just beat yourself. Ooh, 14.56. Whoa. Nice. Coming with me this time. Are we ready? I'm going to beat my time while holding my friends in my hand. Ready? Get set. Go. It really does suck in terms of sweat that's going on. I can't imagine what my hair is doing under this hood right now. Time. A little hamstring burner. Going to suck when we start going longer. How are we doing? Speed. What are you talking about? Carrying all those views. 
viewers with you. <laughs> 21.1 Yeah, My pallies are heavy. Got another one down. Taking her two minute rest. Not a bad showing. 15 exactly. Third 100 for me. Give it to me straight. How did it do? 19.12 record. Oh! World alley record on this track. I actually was like joking about us timing it, but it's helping because I okay. really want to see those Great. numbers go down. It's making me push myself. So if you can find a buddy, a six feet buddy, and start timing yourself. You'll go harder in this workout. Final score for the rocket, 14.94. That's impressive, you didn't get worse as you went along. Are you impressed? Do you have a personality? Gotta be 19.12. I honestly want to take these pants off because they keep, yeah, they end up under my butt by the end and it slowed no, me down. It sprints in a full sweatsuit. Do you realize there's a trash bag underneath yeah, I know. here? It's garbage. <laughs> you can, this Your is outfit is garbage. <laughs> Final score. On the 100, I felt good about this one. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! Don't dance. Don't, I don't have any extra energy to waste. Yeah, now we gotta do three 200 Yeah, meters. but only three of them. We yeah. already did. See, this is, this workout's super easy. My heart rate is, ugh. Oh, I forgot to turn on my whoop. All right, she's gotta go all the way around the track and end there. What? I believe in you. Start of round two. On your mark, get set, rock it. Coming in hot, no grunting. 32.4, time to beat, 32.4. Well, I guess so much for active recovery. I'm not nervous because I don't know what's coming for me. I haven't done it yet. It's, it's easy, right? Uh, no. Okay. On your mark, get set, go. There she goes. All right, 170. Okay, I can promise the first half of that was a sprint. <laughs> oh, the sweat's dripping around my hood. This sucks. Garbage. Shut up, quit making the same joke. 42. That was a whole 10 seconds out of you. This is gonna be a challenge. Are we halfway yet? Wait, we are halfway. <laughs> I was thinking we weren't. We've done five sprints yep. and we have five more. I mean. The distance is. Okay, stop it. Stop messing. I'm trying to make this mentally easier. Next lap, coming in, 34.67, not bad. The reason I wanted to show you my heart rate is because that's what this is all about. We're getting our heart rate up for a short sprint and then letting it come back down, which is different than the steady state cardio I was talking about before, where you just jog for an extended period of time. This is high intensity intervals, and I feel it is a more efficient way, and at least more fun, because you get to lay down and pet a dog in between, instead of just spending two hours running a marathon and this is coming from someone who used to spend two hours running a half marathon like every weekend I only thought I could do steady-state cardio I didn't know there was anything else I would just get on the elliptical and go forever and thought that was my only option there are other options next life for me was basically exactly the same time I'm not mad about it and here this is what I'm talking about heart rate you can see there's my sprint there's my next sprint and I'm hitting 170, 178 beats per minute. If I was running six miles for an hour, it would just stay like right here at 145 the entire time. So it would never get stressed out that high. And we want to be able to get stressed that high. But it doesn't have to be for that long, which is what I love. Nice, you just tied yourself again. How are you feeling? Are we done yet? No, we are very close. You're done. Yes, wait. You're done with the 200. You only have 300s left and that oh one 400. How are you feeling? Must be nice to have your pits aired out. This is a garbage workout. <laughs> Stop saying it. I keep wanting to pull my sleeves up and then realizing that I shouldn't because I'm tripping it all in. I'm just a, standing out here as a human sauna. Give me a little sneak peek of, oh, my last 200 was one second faster. Kick butt. Uh, is this what you feel like in a fursuit? Same as plastic. Taking a sec to rehydrate. This is feeling dangerous at this point. I would not suggest it at home. There's a lot of water leaving my body. Also, shout out to YouTube on YouTube. Whoa, YouTubeception. Christine just went to find a bathroom, which I don't need because I'm just sweating out what I would be peeing. But as you can see, we did not make the two minutes hard and fast rule. And if after two minutes your heart rate is still way up, wait till it gets down before you stress it out again. That's really okay. We now moved on to 300 meters. We're only doing 200. You're gonna be so fast because now you don't have anything in your bladder. All that weight's gone. On your mark, get set, go. Keep going, keep going. You're at 41 seconds. Faster than my 200 already. She's gotta get all the way to that sign over there. 56 seconds. Did I say a minute? Yeah, you guessed a minute. How you feeling? That was rough. <laughs> I think it's like mental, because you like pass where you start. Yeah, that's not easy. I'm nervous about this, but it really helps that it's like a pyramid so that we only have to do two. Oh, okay. okay. I can feel the sweat like dripping down on the inside. Alright, here we go. I'll talk to you when it's all over. 110? 110. Uh, that sucked. Well, it does mean that I worked out longer than you. I had my heart rate up for a whole minute and 10 seconds, 
Look, you can see, and now this is when it gets interesting. That point on the graph is more like a plateau, so you're staying in that painful heart rate zone longer. It's your last 300, you're almost there. Kill it, on your mark, get set, yeah. You can't feel what? <laughs> that means you're doing a good job. What do you guess? 57. 57? Ooh, 53.23! You shaved three whole seconds! You're a monster! This is why I brought you on my channel. To just be a puff of smoke and I never actually catch anything. <laughs> Last 300, I gotta beat my time. I didn't catch it on camera, but after the 100, she was like, are we really gonna do this? We could just stop filming and, and not do the workout that we said. Okay. But what did you just say now? No, I think like mentally when you're in the 200, you feel like you have so many more to do. But once you get into like the 300 rounds, you only have to do three and then- Just get through it. This is two. it. And this yeah. is my last 300. I'm gonna go so hard. Oh, that sucked. Feeling pukey. Uh, Oh, that's sick. Nice. How'd I do? The new Spags record. 106! Oh, what is that? Four seconds faster? Oh, uh, it's because I knew it was the last one. I just went for it. Except for the one more that we have. Last one we're doing together on separate sides of the track until she completely passes me and it doesn't matter. I'm starting. <laughs> no, stop! It's basically two laps around this track. It's not a standard high school track, 25. so that's why it's been weird. Last one. Get set. Go. Okay. <laughs> And we have someone pulling ahead. <laughs> Are you surprised? Oh, Amy, this is awful. I cannot wait to take this off. Uh, finish line. Okay. Oh, cool. Sorry, I'm missing out on the finish line party. Everybody's sitting having beers. 129. Okay, so mine was probably around 130, 131. What are you laughing at? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, part of this is that your body sweat is. Ooh, looking good, looking great. Your body sweats so that it evaporates and then you cool yourself off and then it doesn't evaporate because it's under plastic. And so you sweat more and more. And I would not suggest trying this at home as I mentioned. This was stupid, but the best part right now is getting rid of it. Yeah. I had a moment there where I was like, did I wear a sports bra? Thank goodness. Oh, oh. So I can set a pants definitely needs to come up. Oh, I'm free. Oh. I will say, do try this at home. The sprint part, that's it. How are you feeling over there in normal clothing? And I mean, you know, people are wearing gloves to keep themselves safe. I guess my plastic shirt is keeping the germs off. No, none of this is true. But I hope you at least got something out of this in terms of learning about head training and keeping your heart rate in that red zone, which is up those peaks that I was showing you. And now I gotta go challenge Max to figure skate or something. <laughs> <laughs>